welcome back to the channel guys you know today is my son's birthday and I have been tasked with dad duty of going and picking up pizza now I haven't driven the Corvette in a while um, guys if you remember a few videos ago I bought some new wheels for this car uh, there are some used Grand Sport wheels they were chrome I plastic up them black the car looks amazing I, I really love the way it turned out uh, but ever since then I still haven't driven the car much I've only driven it maybe one other time since then today I figure it's Saturday uh, it's a birthday I got to go pick up pizza for the birthday party today's a perfect time to just take this thing for a spin it's a little cold so I didn't want to take the top off uh, but let's just do it so there's a lot of things going on with the uh, dash right now because tire pressure sensors going off because the uh, TPMS has not been configured on these new wheels yet. It has them, but I just need to configure them. I need to get some gas too. Range low. That's not good. So, uh, yeah, 64,000 miles. How much thing this thing has? 2005. Um, you know, when I bought it, I think I had 39. So, and that was uh, nearly 10 years ago. You know, it hasn't been a garage queen its whole life. When I first bought the car, the intention was to be a daily driver, and it was. Uh, when I bought it in 2010 until about late 2012, I think was when I bought my F-150, it was my daily driver. Uh, my commute to work was only like seven miles, uh, but it was my daily driver for two and a half years. Um, and it was my only real car to get around in. This was obviously before I had kids. Then I bought the truck because I got a job down in South Texas where I needed to travel a lot and go down some you know, dirt roads and such. So the car didn't work, but I didn't want to sell it. I love this car, so here's where I am. So ever since then, it's been kind of the secondary weekend fun car, and that's why it's only got 64,000 miles. So a lot of news about the 2020 Corvette. Uh, of course, that's been the primary subject of my channel over the past three or four months uh, and for good reason it's, it's an amazing car and I can't wait till I get one but also it's been a great benefit to the channel I mean lots of people are searching for it lots of people enjoy the content from a lot of creators and, and I think a lot of people are enjoying some of the content I put together so people are still wondering though when will I get one I've also had a lot of people again in the last couple of weeks bring up whether or not I'm getting a GT500 uh, first of all, let me get something out of the way. I am not the kind of guy uh, on YouTube that is going to go buy a new car every other week. I admire the guys that can. Uh, it's insane. Um, I can't imagine being that kind of guy. I mean, seeing what like Stradman and Savage Garage and, and some of these guys are doing where they're buying a new car every other week is just mind-blowing to me. So I don't, I don't foresee myself as that guy, so please don't expect me to be. But... But I do plan on, you know, if I'm going to get a new car, I'm going to replace a car. So if I'm going to get a new Corvette, I'm going to replace this Corvette. Things like that. Uh, which, hopefully, that's that's the plan. So having said that, I don't really plan on getting both a GT500 and a C8. Uh, it just, A, that's expensive. Uh, B, it doesn't really make sense. Um, C, my wife would probably kill me. But... I plan on, if I'm going to get one, I'm going to get the C8. Uh, I, I love the GT500, don't get me wrong, but I think uh, it's not as versatile of a sports car as the C8. Um, it's got a back seat, and it's got more horsepower, and it might do the quarter mile faster, but, you know, to me, the C8 is just such an amazing car with this mid-engine exotic look and feel and, and actions to it. It's it's just incredible. I can't, I can't wait to get behind one. And not only that, for the price of the GT500, especially with some options uh, like the track pack, you can get a C8 Z06 that's probably going to come out next year. I still think they're going to start bare bones right around 89 to 90,000. So, you know, that's not much more than a GT500 with just a couple of options. So, my vote goes for the C8, uh, but we'll see. Pit stop, gotta, you know, feed the beast here. H E B gas station, let's go. Makes my tires are flat. We just speed to that 55. Uh, they're not flat. So here we 
are H-E-B Fuel. For any of you guys that maybe are in other parts of the country and don't know about H-E-B, H-E-B is the best grocery store in the world. Um, so sorry, Safeway, Publix, especially Kroger, Albertsons, you guys suck. H-E-B, here we go. This is the part where you leave a comment below what the gas prices are in your part of the world right now. All right, so uh, I have not fixed the key fob sensor problem, so still have to do this, shove it in there, and then press this guy at the same time. Right there it is. Yes, got it. Alrighty, off to go get some pizza. Let's go home. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's some precious cargo. All right. Where is it? There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, gotta buckle that seatbelt. Okay, now I gotta buckle mine. All right, now let's throw. Love this exhaust. So it's got cooks long tube headers, Corsa X pipe, and Corsa exhaust. It's amazing, sounds beautiful, and of course it's tuned. Let's see if I can get some uh, pops out of this exhaust. So you might also be wondering, well then what is next for my vlog? You know, I don't drive the Ford GTs really that often, um, so I'm not creating tons of content about them. Uh, I'm driving the Corvette a little bit more than I used to, but still not a ton otherwise. Um, I've been making a lot of other videos just about kind of informative stuff, especially about the 2020 Corvette, but I really want to get back into creating more videos about the cars and the cars that I'm driving and things like that. Um, so, and I've told you I haven't, I'm not, I don't really plan on going out and buying a whole bunch of new cars, but I have a plan couple of big plans coming up that hopefully uh, around the beginning of the year uh, they will launch so uh, because I appreciate all of the people following me uh, I've got nearly 2,000 subscribers now which I know in the grand scheme of things is not that much but uh, the fact that it's accelerating is, is really really encouraging um, so I've got a lot of uh, loyal people that are following me both on Instagram and on YouTube and so I want to I want to kind of turn it up a little bit and do something a little bit more and I think that might catapult things to the next level um, so a couple of things I, I don't have anything finalized yet but a couple of things I'm working on is one of them obviously I've been working on developing um, some, some merchandise but it, when I started developing some merchandise for myself um, I started getting the feeling that I'm pretty good at designing this merchandise but there's only so many things I think I can design for myself so what I wanted to do was I wanted to create more generic supercar related merchandise. Um, not necessarily just related to myself or my channel. There might be some of those things, but uh, I think that'll create a, a broader uh, brand, basically, is what I'm trying to create, a brand that uh, I think anybody in the supercar community would enjoy uh, the, the merchandise that I'm trying to create. Right now, I don't have any sort of licensing deal, so any of my merchandise would have to be unlicensed. I, mean, I can't put a golf logo like this on anything, uh, which, by the way, this is from the D Speed Shop. Uh, they do have a licensing deal with golf. So um, I'd like to get some of those, but I don't have those anything like that lined up yet. Uh, but right now, I've just kind of figured out how can I create some shirts, uh, hats, um, 
things like that that I think are a little more generic but still really cool and, and I think that uh, you know, some of you guys might really enjoy them. So be looking for that here in the next couple months or maybe early next year I, I want to launch that brand. The second thing that I have working, which it's not really working yet, right now it's just an idea, uh, is to partner with a service where I can borrow cars. And um, you know, there's other people that have partnered with Turo. Uh, there's people that have partnered with uh, a few other, you know, rental type of, of deals. I could do that. I don't know if I really want to do that. I want it to be more of a, a two-way partnership. I want to work with a company where I can help promote them and they can help promote me. Um, I have a couple of ideas of what I want to do and how I want to pitch that. Um, but hopefully that'll happen you know, early next year as well. So if anyone watching this has any ideas and has any connections for me, holy crap, what is that thing? Some like huge dragster. I think it's an old like Monte Carlo or Chevelle or something. Uh, then you know shoot me an, an email or leave a comment because I'd love to hear your ideas But otherwise I would love to Finalize a deal with with someone locally in the San Antonio area that I can uh, I can create content for my channel and then in turn uh, Promote your business your brand whatever it is and then in these, in, you know the other way around you can do the same for me uh, so you can promote my channel from your channels of advertising. So anyway, uh, just just an idea that I have. Uh, I think it's something that I can do uh, easily at my scale of channel, uh, rather than um, trying to find some place where it's gonna. I'm gonna charge them thousands of dollars to put a promotion in one of my videos. I don't. I don't have the following for something like that right now. So anyway, leave a comment below with what you uh, think I might be able to do along those lines and along the merchandise lines. If you have any ideas for some cool merchandise that you'd like to see uh, maybe if you give me a great idea I make it I design it I sell it uh, maybe I'll even you know throw you a, throw you a free shirt or something like that so anyway uh, hit me up in the comment too. well anyway that's about it for today's vlog thanks for joining me thanks for going for a ride with me to go get some pizza for the birthday party again he's three years old today uh, it's amazing that he's that old hey, leave a comment below on, on your thoughts on, on the things I talked about in this video give me a like if you'd like Hit me a subscribe over there, share this video if you like. And until next time, adios.